Hey everybody, nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. I made a video recently about stocking this hallway tank full of goldfish fry and I was scooping them out of my ponds with like, like a pond dipping kiddies net thing and thinking there must be a better way. You reminded me, there is. So thank you to everyone who left some comments about various better methods and I should have known. I even phrased the question, I think, if you can think of a better way, let me know. Fishy puns for the win. So method number one is going to be a minnow trap that I made an entire video about when I went to try and catch fish from my local river. This is basically a two litre Pepsi Max bottle cut in half. The end inverted in here, so you put some bait in the bottom. You just got some fish pellets, I might put in a bit of bread. Keep things old school. The, the fish swim in here, attracted by the smells, and get trapped because they can't get back out again. So you have the, the lid open and then drill some holes in the bottom so the water can get through. Leave it in the water for a few minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, who knows. We shall test it out and see what we get. Let's try that. Second method was a bigger or better net. Um, I've going somewhere in between with this one. I've got this old crabbing net. So this is when we've used this with the kids when we go on holiday, trying to catch crabs. You have a little sack at the bottom uh, filled with Julie bacon or something like that. But I've put in some fish pellets, a couple of bits of bread, throw that in, it sits on the bottom and then you just yank it back up. And hopefully there's a bunch of fish milling around in it. So we'll see how useful that is as well. Let's go and try them out. So no cheating, which one do you think is going to work? Comment down below. Um, crab trap, minnow trap. We'll start with the minnow trap, get that in there. Basically kind of have to get it full of water for it to sink. Good start. I think all the fry are fairly deep at the moment, so it's best to put it in the deeper ends. I'll do the same with the crab trap over this side maybe. And now we wait. I shall go and have some lunch and come back and see what happens. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's start with a crab trap. I think the most successful way to do this is bring it up quickly because that's where the net expands. And we have some fish. Bring the bucket over. As well put it back in and see if we get another. Zero. Okay, attempt number two. You can see some fish. So that means they're not in the trap, obviously. No fish. Can I try this one? Can pull it? Um, yeah, pull it fast. Fast. Just one, two, three. Fish. 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 Yeah. Ooh, we're falling out. Fish. Quite a few fish. Isn't that the crabbing thing? Yeah. <laughs> right, watch out. Get them on the bucket. Oh my god, there's loads. So the crabbing thing is definitely the most effective way to catch fish from this pond so far. Definitely, we've got like 10. Oh, fish got stuck. Can I try again? So just to test whether or not this is a location thing, I'm going to swap them around. I'm going to put this where the other one was. I think this crabbing thing is And then we've got the other one over there. So we'll see how many we catch the next time. So how many would you say we've got in there? About a dozen. So about 12 from two attempts. It's not bad. But there's plenty more in there, isn't there? Because we can see them swimming around. So I've been having a few attempts at catching these fry. Um, 
periodically. It's fine. I think the kind of optimal time is to leave it in the water for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Longer than that doesn't seem to make any difference. Shorter than that doesn't seem to uh, get as good yields. I've caught about 60, I think. And I'm just looking at the top of the water now and I can see at least 20. Um, so there's loads more in there. But I've caught about 60. And of those 60, I've caught three in the minnow trap. So this one is definitely the way to go, this crab trap thing that I got at the seaside a few years ago to catch crabs. But the technique will just basically quickly take it up. And there we go, another three or four in there. It's only been in a few minutes. Tried both ponds, uh, both different locations, so moving them all around. So it's an equal shake for each of them, but yeah, the minnow trap just did not do as well as I thought it would. Um, I think a big actual crab net, something like that, where the fish can swim in and get trapped that way a little bit better rather than that, because that's quite an open thing, but hey, it works. So I think I've got enough to fill the big display tank in the hallway. Um, there's maybe 40 or 50 in there. We'll see how they grow up over the winter. I've got a few more as well that I'm going to move into the fish room. I've got a few, fair, a few spare tanks in the fish room put some in there and then I can do some comparisons between heated goldfish tanks and cold goldfish tanks because I've got lots of them that are similar sizes so we can track the development through the winter months whether they grow faster when they're warmer, they should, or not. As for the pond itself, um, because it's more of a, a natural pond and that it's not a square I, don't, I can't get covers for it as such, so I'm just going to kind of leave it as is. I've been reassured by a lot of you in the comments in the previous videos that as long as it doesn't freeze completely solid, plenty of the fish will make it through, even the, the smallest fry, um, if I just stop feeding when it gets below 10 degrees, which it has. So it's been regularly below 10 for quite a while now. So no more feeding for them and hopefully they should make it over winter. But as ever, click the subscribe button if you want to find out whether that's true or not. Um, so there's definitely going to be a bunch of fry in here as well as the adult goldfish that I'm just going to leave in here. I'm going to drain the small pond because that does have a chance to freeze completely and get all the fry out of that. Um, but yeah, that's the end of pond for this year. I think it's been quite a successful one. It's worked really well. Uh, all the plants have taken off. I'm not sure how many of them will make it through winter, but I'm going to try and move a lot of them into that tank to see if we can keep them going. But it seems to be doing all right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found some of it useful, enjoyable, any of those things. If there's a thing to click, give it a click and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.